Hello, Playcon Kami here, with a new episode of RBI Bytes. Today, I want to look at something a bit different to my normal contents. Something in-game related. A common fixture in early Pokémon is the Safari Zone, an area where you can find exclusive Pokémon. They're usually quite strong, especially the rarer kinds, which adds a lot of incentive to going there. However, there's a catch. You aren't allowed to weaken them with your own Pokémon, and the creatures you find will run away eventually. With a limited amount of steps, you have to allocate your time carefully to get the most bang for your buck. Armed with Safari Balls, Bait, and Rocks, your character will trek out into the wilderness to try and hunt the best game possible. Well, that's how it's supposed to work anyway. RBY's Safari Zone has quite a few glitches, including a method of walking through walls, but what I want to talk about today are the fight mechanics specifically. Some of you may also want to mention the Safari Zone uh, trick with Cinema Island, but you can't do that in Pokemon Yellow as they patched out. So with that out of the way, how do we work with this? Well, a while ago on a stream, I managed to catch a Tauros with some insane odds, and I cited a lot of numbers while doing it. The reason for that is, well, RBY Safari Zone is a fundamentally broken area. So, let's break down the situation first. In a Safari Zone, you are given four options when you find a Pokémon. You can throw a Safari Ball, throw a Bait, throw a Rock, or run away. Most of the time, you're running away because HOLY SHIT I DO NOT WANT TO FUCKING NEED ARENA! But when you actually find something useful, you're probably going to sit down and strategize. Consider the following. DON'T! So every turn, a Pokémon has a chance to run based on its calculated speed. Let's say you find a Taurus with perfect speed in Safari Zone level 21. It will have 57 speed. Let's plug this into the formula. The chance a Pokémon will run is calculated with 2 times speed divided by 256, so a max speed Taurus has a 44.5% chance to run each turn. Because it's based on the Pokémon's speed stat, higher level Pokémon are more likely to run, while lower level Pokémon are less likely. This actually results in some interesting version differences, with Scythers in yellow being far easier to catch thanks to being level 15 rather than level 28. The catch rate in the Safari Zone is treated as if the Pokémon is at full health, and Safari Balls are basically normal Great Balls, with a 1.5x capture modifier. Due to the game's catch rates being a little flawed, the catch rate for Taurus winds up to be about 6.45%. Now you may be thinking, so if it's this mediocre, we should strategize, right? And here's where the problem comes in. When a rock is thrown, you double the catch rate, and the run chance. This seems enticing until you realize the opposing Pokemon that has an increased chance to flee now has that apply immediately giving it the initiative to flee before you can even make use of that better capture chance. After once 5 turns, things do get back to normal though. But chances are the Pokemon's gonna run before that even comes to effect. So, let's move on to bait. When bait is thrown, you have the capture rate halved and the flee chance quartered. Unlike rocks, the catch rate doesn't go back to normal even once the Pokemon has stopped eating, and by prolonging the battle, you're having more chances for the Pokemon to flee anyway. So these two items end up being useless. You could throw a rock and then bait to keep the Pokemon from running while having a neutral catch rate, but this means forfeiting two turns instead of one and thus often having the Pokemon run away in any way, since you're throwing a rock first. It's just generally very flawed. So what do you actually do in the Safari Zone then? Well, the only thing you can do to maximize your chance of catching anything is to keep throwing Safari Balls and hope it works. Yes, the best way to catch any Pokemon is to return to Monkey. Let's look at the best reason to use a Safari Zone, Taurus, once again. Taurus has a 6.451% catch rate against the Safari Ball, and the perfect speed Taurus has roughly a 44.5% chance to run every turn. Plugging this into the calculator on Cable Dragonflies, which averages out the DVs, if you do nothing but throw Safari Balls, the chance amounts to about 14.22%. With a rock, this plummets to 3.58%, and with bait, it's 7.87%. Keep in mind that a Pokemon with higher speed DVs has a higher chance of running. So really, you may have encountered the perfect Taurus, and it just ran away. Well, as perfect as it can get anyway, as RBY's flawed DV generation means it'll never have 15 in every stat. The best possible spread Taurus can have is 9 in special, with 15 in everything else. With a 10% encounter rate and such high difficulty of capturing a Taurus at all, I have to wonder if the perfect Taurus even exists on a cartridge. 
If you want the perfect Tauros, Max Specialty V at all, you would have to use Trade Packs of GSC, which can allow you to breed for one. This is still difficult though, as Gen 2's breeding system still leads quite a few stats up to chance. If you didn't want to use Trade Packs though, there is the possibility of soft resetting in the Japanese version of Pokemon Blue, which has a trade available for it, which actually allows it to have perfect EVs. However, you can't trade this to the international versions without corrupting your save file. So, uh, Japan gets- Japan just wins this one, you know. <laughs> so, to summarize, the next time you go to that Safari Zone, only throw Pokeballs. You don't need to use anything else. Thank you to Cable Dragonflies for much of the information that I used in the making of this video, I really couldn't have made it without them. Also, thank you to Sheldons for inspiring me to go through this by showing me the chances of actually getting the Tauros that I did on my old to stream I did. So, why don't you join your RBY Discord and go meet him? <laughs> Tell him I said hi. That's Blizzard's Michael Karma, and I'll see you all next time.